The Florida Senate passed a bill that would bar children under 16 from using social media. It cleared the chamber with 23 yeas and 14 nays. But in the House, it was overwhelmingly approved. And now that means Governor DeSantis will have to decide if he's going to sign the final version. And, you know, the question here is whether or not this is a legitimate law that can be passed under constitutional rights to free speech and other issues. And we know where the tech companies stand. They are 100 percent against it. Right. But parents overwhelmingly support it. There's two issues at play here. There's the constitutionality of the law, and I don't think it would hold up in court. And Governor DeSantis seems to think that as well. Other states have thrown him out. Yeah, he's indicated that's what he thinks. But then there's the other part of this, the parental rights part, which I think is the more interesting discussion here. This has been a state that has promoted parental rights for a couple of sessions now. It's been a top priority. Yet here you're saying this is the state's job, not the parent's job, no matter what you think. And look, nobody's been more critical of social media than me. I hate it. I get off of it in two seconds if I didn't have to do it for my job. Uh, And I think it's absolutely 100 percent a net negative on society and net negative for kids. But it's the parent's choice to me as to whether or not you want your 15 year old on Facebook or Yeah, it's the parents' Instagram. responsibility. It absolutely right. is. And one of the uh, supporters of the bill, Republican senator here in the state, Aaron Grawl, said, and I'm quoting here, this isn't about parental rights. Parents do not have the right to harm their children. We're saying the harm is too great. We must intervene. And so then the question becomes, and this is what we talked about earlier, Dana, the question becomes, okay, well, where does that end? So if you've got a parent who's feeding their kid sugar and a bunch of crap fast food which a lot i mean i do it i mean i try to make sure he eats his vegetables too but we all give our kids food that isn't necessarily good for them so where does it end right the child obesity problem is a huge problem here in this country you could some could argue that that's a bigger problem than the social media issue and so uh is it government's role to step in and say well that parent's harming their kid and right. what the about harm is too great cigarette smoke is really bad for children are we going to start, start taking kids away from their parents if they smoke right so uh, no, but here's why parents overwhelmingly support this bill when you think about social media okay adults look at it and it came about in the middle of their lives they can take it or leave it some people don't like it some mm-hmm. people use it you know they they seem to have sort of a, a choice in the matter they all agree that kids are addicted to this this stuff in a different way than adults. They it looks like a drug when you see them use it. They don't want to do anything else other than be on these screens. And that's why parents see this as being a more urgent issue than say, oh, I, I'm giving my kids some candy or it, sugar. It, it is an urgent issue, but the parents can say, no, you're not getting a phone. The parent has that control. Or they can say, you're going to have this device, but these are the apps you're allowed to use on it. Yeah. So like my son is 11. He wants to be on YouTube. And I said, no, he wants a phone. And I said, no, like with your your kids, you can say no, that they can't have certain things. You know, I think here again, though, the tech industry has a lot to explain in the sense that why is it that the algorithms they have on right. these, these apps uh, create an environment where kids are, are getting involved in hate issues, yep. uh, body image issues, mm-hmm. and some of these things that they really shouldn't be dealing with at that age. You're 100% right, and that's why I think the approach that California is taking, and and look, uh, it's not often I say, hey, let's look to California, <laughs> look at California for the California, answer right. on something, but California, instead of banning it, they're focusing on algorithm restrictions. And first of all, I think that would hold up in court better than just an all-out ban like this. And that is, like you mentioned, Chris, that is a central problem here. But you also, I I would say on the flip side, let's say you have, I'll just throw this out there, uh, an LGBTQ minor or something, or a minor going through something, and they find a community of like-minded people on social media and that makes them feel better and accepted and all of that, then in that instance, should they be banned from it? Is it harming them? Is it helping them? You know, again, I think it's a net negative overall, but I'm not going to ignore cases and examples where it does help.
Right. Well, it should sense. just be the parent's choice. Yeah. That's the bottom line. Right. It should be the parent's choice. Do you want your kids to even have a cell phone or a device? And then what apps are you allowing yeah. them to use? And that's where the parents need to make that decision. I know the algorithm is bad. Mm-hmm. I wish that I had kept my daughter off social media longer, but we didn't know. And we let her use it starting when she was like 13. Right. And it had negative impacts. Now with my son, it's not happening for a while. So he can't even go to Ryan Gorman show on, uh, on no, Instagram? I don't want him listening to this nonsense at all. <laughs> That's another no good way. point. Oh, come Touché. on, I learned something. Touché. So, yeah, but here's the bottom line. If if the governor uh, signs it, you know, goes into law, and then it goes to the courts, if he vetoes it, he does not have a veto-proof. There's not a veto-proof majority yeah. in the Senate, so it would die. So it's really, really up to the, it's really up to right. the governor whether this thing moves forward. Mm-hmm. 